Hi everybody and welcome back. It has been a crazy, crazy week. Um, I've put a lot of hours in into trying to get the trading all as I wanted. But we're basically nearly there. And I think we can open in the meantime. So I'm going to show you guys that. And you're probably hearing a lot of villages. Uh, I would probably guess I've been busy for about 50 hours which I'm going to cram in the next 15 minutes. Trying to work out where and how to use these villagers and it just it's driving me nuts. You know, villagers drive a person crazy. But it's been a lot of fun. And we've got a gaming district set up and I've got my first game which you guys are going to see a little bit later. But villager breeders are or can be very difficult. I showed you guys the other one I had. And I had this one which kind of works. But too slow. So I went old school. And we just put a lot of beds down. Put a lot of villages in. And just give them a lot of food. And you got babies coming up everywhere. And that's worked. I've managed to get a whole bunch of villages. And put them into the trading hall and trade up and do all that needs to be done. And uh, yeah, let's uh, quickly have a little look here. So as you can see there, I just set it up. The babies fall down and they come through. And there's actually quite a few babies in here already on their way again. But honestly, old school way... It's like the best way to go. It's it's actually saved me so much time. Luckily, I had a couple of villages to start off with. Technically, actually only two, and then I bred them up and bred them up, and we got a lot of villages. So uh, let's head to the trading hall and uh, see whoop, what's going on there. So everything has been built up. As you guys can see, here yeah, we got our chests, the things we're starting to sell. And it's all our books on this side. So I've got a villager for every book that you can get, except one or two I think I was struggling with. And we've got our farmers, there's our masons, blacksmiths, weapons, armor, clerics. So this is where we can make our emeralds. And we've got our librarians on this side. As you can see here, they get pushed from there at the bottom right over there. And they come down and I just move them into where I need to go. I still need to get the zombies to do the zombie curing and get cheaper rates. But here you can see we've got all the enchantment guys over here. Yep, if I can go up here to the next level. And we end over here. I've still got a few spots open over here. For extra guys. But. Oh these guys make a lot of noise. This was the last guy. I just couldn't get a Luck of the Sea 3 book. And the best I got was Luck of the Sea 2. So that's the only guy that doesn't have the top tier enchantment. But. It's there. Now I had to make a few changes to my initial plan that I wanted to do here. Um, but most everything stays the same. Uh, let's see, if we go out here. Now I've set up a membership type of thing for all the other guys on the server. So it might be a bit weird for some, but you've got a once-off member fee of 15 diamonds to enter. But you get something in return. Now you press the button once. And then something's going to come up here. Now that is a shulker box. Filled with goodies. Some nice goodies. So I think they'll like it. So I'm not going to show it. Because it's a surprise. So once the guys start coming in. And well hopefully they do. They'll just push the button once. After the 
Oh, I just realized I don't have a place to put the diamonds. Um, okay, we quickly need to do that. Let's quickly do that. Uh, chase, I chase here somewhere. Where's but There we go. I just realized I don't have a place for them to put the chase in. Uh, let's put that back in there. Uh, now, where do I put this? Uh, well, why not there? Okay, now I've got to put... Now I need a sign. Forget one of the most important things. Oh, come on. Okay. Let me just quickly put a sign up over here. Okay. Okay, put your 15 diamonds in chest. There we go. Plain and simple. So the guys can deposit the diamonds in there. They push the button, get the little welcome box, and then uh, into the shop. And that's it. But... We are basically up and running. I just gotta do some trading and get more books and things like that. But that is on its way. Now, some of the guys have been busy building up the Nether Hub, Humble, and a few others. And wow, I am completely taken away by it. It's very cool. So let's head to the Nether Hub and see what these guys have been doing look how cool this place looks looks fantastic let's quickly go to the camera account and you guys can see a little bit better so here we've got our different tunnels all the different themes and as the guys bases get built up we're going to add our uh, portals and then uh, branch into these main tunnels and each area you've got your north south east west obviously with all the different designs and there's the nether roof access up there and do not hit the crystal like humble said that will be very bad but wow look at this it looks cool we've got the little fog effects area and this giant black like, looks like a hole in the ground i think it came out fantastic these guys did a very good job on this i can't build like this i suck at building okay right. there's a little hint there for something they might need Okay, well, here we can see here's the main portal here in the center. Uh, I'm not going to show up there yet because I think they're still uh, busy over there. And then this heads directly into the shopping district. So we'll probably see that in future videos. Well, now we need to head to the gaming district. Which I believe is down in this way, I think. Uh, somewhere down here. Oh my gosh, where is it? I've got to find this hole. Oh, what's that? Uh, no, I think I'm in the wrong place. Okay, well, I'm going to find the hidden passageway that goes to the gaming district, and then I'll see you guys there. Okay, well, I was in the right tunnel, just a little bit further down, right, technically at the end. So, let's quickly head down this way, and you guys can quickly check a time lapse of what I've been up to.
Okay, well guys, we are in the gaming district and uh, there's not much going on here as yet. I think somebody was busy with something over there. There might be something else. But here is my first game I want to try out on the server. And it's a headhunt. <coughs> so basically, all your little mob heads like these from players, people, and all the mobs, everything counts towards the game. So the rare heads that I've done here, you can see Ender Dragon, the Wither Boss, the Warden, the Skeleton Horse, and the Blue Axler Lottle. So if the guys collect that, they get extra points. So we can buy and trade from other players. If you want to buy, it's the same value as the point value. So if you've got a head that's a rare head that's 10 points and you want to buy from someone you have to buy it for 10 diamonds and it's one diamond for the common ones so we got the maximum of 10 heads that can be collected there's a couple of rules here and there's 25 diamonds to enter uh obviously i take a little um commission uh off the top to, you know, just to cover costs and things like that <laughs> and this game starts tomorrow after this video is now released which will be the 27th of august so we're going to run it until september and then whoever's got the most points will be the winner now there's another way of winning this game not if you don't win by points well technically you'll still win and that is to collect 10 heads of every single mob in the game that's not including player heads. And I think there's something like 170 mobs, more or less, heads that you can collect. There's not 170 mobs, but there's a lot of heads. If you take your zombie villager for every single villager type that you get, that's worth trading and things like that. Like here we've got the Liberian head. So you can have the leather worker and the farmer, all that. With the normal heads and the zombie heads, all the cats, the parrots, there's a lot. So that's one way of doing it. But points obviously is the the main thing. So the more heads you get, especially the rare ones, the more points you get. And then we're going to set up a little uh, leaderboard going down here. And the winner gets all the diamonds. Minus my little chair of course so the plan is once i start getting the diamonds in i want to pack them on top of the little villager head over there and then once the competition is over the winner gets all the diamonds so i've got all the chests set up here for guys to put in the heads and make a little mini game on the side which I've got all the heads I've had and more that I'll collect. I'm going to put it in here. So for one diamond, the guys can win a head. Maybe it's something they don't have. So you push the button once and boop, you're going to get a bonus head. So hopefully the guys enjoy this. I've seen it done a couple of times and it's a cool game to play. So we're on our way. And that was after a very long, chaotic week. And the villagers definitely drove me nuts. So some players might be getting revenge on some villagers. Hint, hint. Well, guys, that's going to be it for today. Thanks for joining me. Uh, check out the rest of the guys on the server. Help them collect their heads. And uh, let's get a winner out of this till next time stay safe enjoy minecraft and i'll see you guys again cheers